Hey everybody, welcome to our 28 day journey to experience God's extravagant blessings. And we're, we're coming from a book called The Lord Bless You. The Lord Bless You is a book written by a good friend of mine named Terry Smith, who pastors a great church up on the East Coast. And I met him back in the mid 80s and we've been friends ever since. And since then he's become an author and we've done some of his stuff before, but I'm really excited about this book because for the first 28 days of January, we are jumping in to finding out what it means to have God bless us. And I hope that you'll purchase the book. You should be able to get it in our lobby at the Info Center, but if we run out of them there, then you can for sure order it online. So make sure you do that. But for those of you that can't do it, and as uh, by way of just supplementing the book, we're going to be doing this podcast every day. I'm starting off this one by myself, but every day we'll be having a different guest on with me to answer the question at the end of each chapter, just out of their heart. And I hope that it will bless you. So let's jump into the first one today. In this first chapter, the introduction, he talks about why people say, bless you when you sneeze. Now, I've heard different stories, but I've never heard this one, actually. It comes all the way back from AD 600 when Pope Gregory the Great uh, was dealing with the, the bubonic plague. And when he told everybody that when you hear someone sneeze, you immediately should say, bless you, God bless you, by way of a prayer over their life so that they would not die of the plague. I thought, that's really cool. And I love how Terry takes this thought and really brings it into the Word of God. How that Adam and Eve were living in the garden and they were just perfect. And they were in this paradise with God. But then suddenly, Adam and Eve sneezed. And when he says they sneezed, it means they became ill. They, they let the sin of pride and rebellion and disobedience get in their hearts. And God immediately had to remove them from the garden, but it wasn't to punish them as much as it was that they could not stay there around the tree of life and because that would allow them to live forever. And immediately, God started off on this redemption process. People look at the law as if it were something that God was doing to try to take away humanity's fun or a reason to strike them down. That's not it at all. God gave them the law to help them to understand what sin is because sin would destroy them. And so he gave them the law to let them know what was right and what was wrong. But then, knowing that the law could not fix the problem, even though it identified the problem, then God initiated the cross. And Christ died on the cross and took the penalty for our sin. So ever since Adam sneezed, God's been trying to make things right for us and redeem humanity and get us back into that place of paradise and blessing with him. So our question at the end of this chapter goes like this. He just says, Scripture tells us that faith in Jesus and living with an expectation of God's blessing is essential to being blessed in every way. Do you really believe God wants to bless you? That's a huge question for us today. You've heard me say oftentimes from the pulpit on Sundays that if you don't believe God truly loves you, you won't receive anything from him. You can't receive a gift if you don't believe that person really cares about you or you don't think that it's legitimate. You don't think that it's that the motivation behind it is pure. There's a catch. If I do this, then it's like the mafia. I'm going to owe God or something like that. So we have to understand that God loves us. So that's the question for us today. Do we really believe that God wants to bless us? And I hope that you will pray about that today. I hope you'll dig into the principles of God's Word. I hope you'll listen to the words in this chapter and understand that from the beginning of time, God has been working to get humanity back to that place of blessing. I can assure you today that God loves you and His plans for you are to bless you. Have a beautiful day on this first day of our 28 days. I love you and praying for you.